As the movie starts we see a boy hanging on the roof. After it, we see the main character of the movie Sharon in the movie. Sharon's condition gets worse at night. Sharon's husband takes her to the hospital there we come to know her appendix I damaged. Now the doctors have to do the surgery on Sharon. At the time of operation, Sharon gets faint. When she wakes up she finds herself in a strange room her hands were tied with the bed. Some red liquid was being injection into her. As she wakes up a doctor comes there and he tells her about her condition. The doctor tells Sharon that she was mentally sick after the surgery she is here from then. She asks the doctor where is she. However, the doctor departs without saying anything to her. Then she sees the surgery mark on her belly. It was healed now. Due to it, she comes to know that she is here for many days. The doctor again comes to Sharon this time was a tablet in his hand. Sharon asks him many questions. But the doctor doesn't reply to her and the doctor asks Sharon to take the tablet. She pushes him away and moves out from here. Some people hold her and inject an injection on her neck. They again send her into her room. After it, when she comes to her senses the doctor was again in front to her. Sharon says to him, my family and husband will come here while searching for me. The doctor says nobody will search you here. After it, the doctor locks her in the room and leaves. Later, Sharon hears the voices of some people. Like someone is torturing them. When she looks out the window, she notices a man the eyes of the man were bleeding and another man comes to drop him at his room. Seeing the condition of the patient Sharon gets scared. Meanwhile, she hears some voices from another room. When she checks the wall she finds a note there that is given by the patient of the other room. The man tells his name Everett. He also tells her this is not a hospital. During this, some people come into Everett's room. Now Sharon only listens to the screaming of Everett. After it, now Sharon was thinking about her past. She remembers that she has told a lie to her husband once. Her husband knew this but he didn't say anything to Sharon. Then we see, the doctor again comes to Sharon room and asks her have you done anything in past about which you feel regret. Sharon says to him I haven't done anything like this. Meanwhile, the doctor finds Everett's note here. That was given by him to Sharon through the wall. Now the doctor takes her to a room there were many other patients. When the doctor leaves Sharon asks Everett at night, what have they done to you? Everett tells her that they cut his tongue. Hearing it, Sharon gets shocked because Everett was still talking to her finally. It was difficult for her to believe in all this. Then Everett says to Sharon that they are doing some experiments on us. I have got my tongue back. Another patient here tells her a shocking thing. They have burned her alive many times. With their treatment, she gets well within few days. The patients say to Sharon don't let them come to your room at any cost. With it, the siren rings here. All patients get scared suddenly. The doctor returns and sends them back to their rooms. He also says to Sharon that you also have to go to your room. Sharon wasn't understanding anything. She asks the doctor when I will go home. But the doctor ignores her. He takes her into her room. Coming to the room Sharon again sees her past. Then we come to know the lie which she told her husband in the past what was it. She went to a grave while telling her husband about the gym. Now this grave is also a mystery for us we will come to know about it future. Sharon was looking out of her room suddenly. The lights of the corridor outside her room turn off. Sharon sees two men were taking a patient from there forcefully. Meanwhile, Everett comes to Sharon's room. Everett tells Sharon that it is actually a facility. Then Sharon asks Everett that can't we go out from here. Everett tells her there is only a way to go from here. That is to follow their routine and obey them. Sharon asks him who told him all this. Everett tells her that the doctor has promised me if I will follow their routine and obey him. He will let me go from here after three months. Sharon says I don't believe him. Then she sees a patient comes from the front and he was the patient who was taken before some time. Now the belly of the patient was bleeding. Sharon comes to ask the man that what they had done with him. When the man telling her the doctor comes with the red liquid that was injection in all patients. The doctor asks Sharon to move back from there. Coming back to the room she goes to Everett's room. She requests her to help her to go out from here. But Everett refuses her because Is was obeying the doctor. Here she was seeing the strange patients. During this, the doctor sees her and takes her to his cabin. Here the doctor shows her the photo of the man whom we saw was hanged at the start of the movie. The doctor asks her do you who is this man? Sharon thinks and she says if I will tell you something about him will you let me call for once at home? The doctor agrees with her. Then Sharon tells him this boy was my boyfriend. He committed suicide suddenly due to it, I was depressed. 
Here we come to know the grave we saw in Sharon's past that was of this boy. There she goes to light a candle telling a lie to her husband. After telling all this when she picks up the phone to call her home she comes to know this phone is dead. She comes to know the doctor has deceived her he becomes aggressive with him and then she goes to her room. Here one more room is shown on the way to her room. There was the same rope on which that man was hanged. Sharon gets scared while seeing all this. Then some people from the facility come there and take Sharon to a room. Here they brutally cut the foot of Sharon. Meanwhile, the doctor comes there and starts treating her foot. Soon her foot was healed. This all was incredible for Sharon her foot was the same as before. She also can control her foot. The doctor tells her about the red liquid and tells her any injury can be real soon through this red liquid. Here Sharon asks the doctor why are you doing this? The doctor says we only do this with the people like you. After it, we see Sharon in Everett's room and she was telling him I saw my boyfriend here before some time. He died 10 years ago. Everett goes to the doctor in anger and says you said that after three months I will go from here if I follow your routine. But here I have seen a man who is here for 10 years. The doctor says to him this is not in my hands. Then Everett requests him to meet with his management. The doctor was talking him and here again Everett's tongue was clean while, we see Sharon, she goes to the room in which she saw her boyfriend. But this time there was no rope. There was only a piano then she leaves from there. She sees a man from the facility was going from there. While chasing her, she moves to the exit finally. As she opens the door of the exit there was a wall. It means there wasn't any path to go out from there. She again goes to her boyfriend's room from here. She discovers the rope which her male friend committed suicide on the piano. Meanwhile, her boyfriend comes there suddenly. Seeing him, she gets scared and the doctor also comes there. When she again goes to the room with the doctor there was nothing in the room. There wasn't even a piano. When the doctor was going to drop her to her room she cleverly steals the keys from his pocket. She takes one more patient to his office. After searching a lot there they find a map of this facility. Till then the doctor also comes to know that Sharon has stolen the keys. They enter a facility room and dress in the uniforms of the facility staff. Going from there, a man from the facility suspects them. The other lady to save Sharon cuts her neck. Sharon immediately runs from there. She hides at a place where a patient comes and is about to kill her. A boy comes there and he was also a patient of the facility. He takes her inside a room. Because the facility staff was searching for them outside. The boy starts misbehaving with Sharon. Sharon doesn't bear this. When the facility staff goes from there she kills the boy and moves from there. After all this, we see Sharon finally comes out of that facility. Still, many people were after her so she goes inside a house. But there was no one in the house and after some time she feels she doesn't come out of the facility. There she again sees the dead body of her boyfriend. Then we see Sharon was giving a death sentence as a punishment. As she comes to her senses she sees a doctor near her. The doctor was doing her treatment. Sharon asks the doctor why they don't kill her. The doctor replies we don't kill anyone here. With it, the doctor also asks her have you done anything in the past you are embarrassed about. Sharon still doesn't tell him anything. The doctor leaves from there and Sharon comes Everett's room. Coming there, she asks Everett how you came here. Everett tells her that I got into a dangerous accident. After it, when I come to my senses I was here. Then Sharon to the room of the girl. The girl who cut her neck to save Sharon. But the girl was still fine. Sharon asks her why did you come here? Have you done anything in your past that you shouldn't have done? The girl tells her to save the 600 animals to be dead I set the farmhouse on fire. In the fire, her boss was also burned. Maybe it is the reason they burn her again and again. The girl tells Sharon there is only a way to get out from here. That is death and Sharon says to her we are already dead. After it, Sharon tells her that when I come to my senses after surgery I was here. Here Sharon says to her I think we are already dead. This place is hell for us. Listening to Sharon the girl asks her what have you done that you come here. Here Sharon confesses that she has killed her boyfriend 10 years ago. Maybe it was the reason for her to come here. We come to know about the past of Sharon. One day, Sharon and her boyfriend were arguing, Sharon picked up a knife due to it, mistakenly her boyfriend's neck cuts. To save herself Sharon hanged him with the rope. So everyone will think that he has committed suicide. After all this, Sharon goes to the doctor. She tells him about a man. He wrote a book once he went into hell. He was tortured several times. Then he was treated themselves. 
Nobody knows this before today this place is hell. Sharon asks the doctor are you devil? The doctor tells her there is no devil. He also comes here as a bad human like her. Then he followed the routine of the people here while obeying them. Like this, he got the duty to torture others. He tells her he doesn't want to do all this. But if someone refuses here to do this he is again tortured. It is the custom here. The doctor tells her I am also here for a long time. Meanwhile, the boyfriend of Sharon comes and he pulls her to the room where she always sees the piano and rope. Sharon believes that this place is hell. The place of their regret. They come here when they were already dead. None will die after coming here. Her boyfriend starts hanging her. She says to her boyfriend to kill me but before it listens to me I love you so much I don't love anyone this much in my life. Till today I light candles on your grave. Then she apologizes to her boyfriend. She asks him to kill her to hang as she hanged him. Now the heart of her boyfriend changes and he doesn't kill her. He takes her towards exit. Seeing the boy doing this, the doctor forbids him to do this. But the boy ignores him. He moves with her further. As Sharon goes to the exit of the hell while walking on the bridge she was reaching the earth. As her boyfriend steps on the bridge. The bridge breaks. But Sharon has reached near the entrance so she holds the entrance. When she sees behind she sees the people were taking her boyfriend from there. She moves forward while seeing the light. In the next scene, we see Sharon opens her eyes. She is no the bed of the hospital the hospital that we saw at the start of the movie. The doctor tells her that her heart stopped beating for 15 seconds. It means she died and came back to life. She has a new life. While not believing in all this Sharon sees her belly. Her surgical wounds were still rough, and the doctors forbade her from touching them. After it, when she reaches home she does research on all of them whom she met in the hell. Here she comes to know the happenings were true. After it, she goes to light a candle on her boyfriend's grave. Sharon escaped because she has killed her boyfriend mistakenly. With it, her boyfriend also believes in her. That's why she comes to her life from hell again. The film comes to an end here. Thank you for your time and watching.